on August 26th, Venus and Leo enters into a T-square with Saturn in Aquarius and Uranus in Taurus. We just talked about Uranus because Uranus just stationed retrograde on the 24th. So that energy is definitely being brought in. So if you missed that one, you may want to check it out. Venus is bringing in this layer of finance and also our relationships. So those are going to be sort of the areas of life that are feeling the pressure at this time. So when we have a configuration like this, it is tense. Tension needs to be released somewhere. There is a problem to solve, but it is a very complex problem. We've been facing this Saturn Uranus square, which has been intensified by the eclipses this year. And we've talked about it a lot on this channel, but it has to do with cultural evolution. We see a lot of inventions come about from it, as well as innovations in the way that we work. I've recently connected this uh, cycle to workers' revolutions, workers' rights. And yes, technology does have a huge hand in that because, um, yeah, machines actually, believe it or not, reduce the, um, the intensity that we have to work, um, at least physically. So anyways, there is a strong connection there. So we have been seeing the eclipses, just to recap, in Taurus and Scorpio, that has been wreaking havoc in terms of our financial sector. We've seen inflation happening. We've also seen the crypto market um, reach like a really big high and then it's crashed and we've seen the NFTs crash as well. All of that was really happening when Venus last engaged with this configuration in Taurus, we saw inflation skyrocket. We saw the price of gas just skyrocket. Price of food skyrocket. Food is still going up at this point. Gas is going down. Um, so we're going to see a continuation of these themes here. We may hear more from crypto. We may hear more from the availability of resources. That's another one. In our personal lives, this could be showing up in a big way on the relationship front. Again, there's probably going to be some sort of important problem to solve in the way that we do our relationships. So Venus is going to be in a square with the nodes, offering us a choice in our direction. Um, sometimes it's not as cut and dry of stay or should I go, but sometimes it is. You know, Uranus is involved, which is saying freedom. And I don't want to deal with this. Whereas Saturn is saying long-term future plan. Can we get through this rough spot in order to have what we really want together long-term? So we may be facing a big choice like that, but it may also not be that big. It may be how I approach something, you know, thinking about communication. That's going to be a huge theme moving into this Mercury retrograde. Um, the way that we communicate for example, communication seems so simple, but the way that we apologize, the way that we own up, the way that we take responsibility, the way that we share our love and affection and appreciation, the way that we um, greet someone when they come home, are we complaining or are we like making jokes? You know, there's just so much that goes into it. So Venus in a square with the nodes can be offering us a choice. Maybe it's a little choice that has a big ripple effect. Maybe it's a big, important choice that, that we're facing. Either way, um, relationships are a major source of tension here with, with this aspect. Um, there's going to be something with Uranus where we may make a choice to stir the pot, to shake something up, to... Um, find a new practice, to find a new routine, to find a way to solve something, to find a, a radical way to solve an issue. Saturn is the issue, probably. Saturn is saying, you know, we need to put in the time, we need to put in the work. Saturn is also the clarity saying, here's, here's what's wrong. Here's what we cannot ignore any longer. And that's what makes it hard is that a lot of times we see the red flags and we just ignore them. But Saturn is here showing us clear as day what is going on. And it's our choice now how we respond to that. So that's a little bit about our Venus 
uh, T square with the Saturn here on a square. We're going to see financial themes. We're going to see resource themes. We're going to see relationship themes, particularly in our personal lives. Um, so that's what we can expect. And for now, that was your astrology shot of the day and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. Foundations of Astrology relaunches on September 7th. You can find out more information about this 11-week course on my website, katherineurban.com. Also, you know where to find me on all platforms at Astro Catherine.